As we head into the holiday season, well, we're pretty much in it now. American food banks are desperately looking for help. And many pantries are struggling to keep up with demand and stock some of the most commonly donated items. CBS's Chanel Cole explains. Every Wednesday, hundreds of people visit this East Harlem, New York food bank. I get all your dollars in food stamps. That's not enough in this five of us. Joanna Rios has been coming here for over 40 years to help feed her children and now grandchildren. When she gets inside, she's greeted with bags of cooking essentials. I'm the pantry lady. I love doing this because it puts food on my table. But sometimes the things Rios and others really need are hard to find here. I just wish that they give oil. We need that. <laughs> Food banks often get a lot of canned goods like these, but not everyone receiving these items has a way to open them. If the can can't be opened, they can't use it, but they can always use other things. Spices, I, I especially with all the cooking and spices. I wish we could get like more milk. Fish, chicken, vegetables and fruit. Jonah Gensler with the LSA Family Health Service says there's often a gap between what people give and what people actually need. Don't clean out the back of your pantry. Um, the sardines that are about to go bad, that's not really helpful. Think about the needs of growing families. Gensler says dairy, fresh produce and meat are in highest demand. But donating money can also be helpful. We can buy in bulk and we can stretch out those resources. Because even a small donation can make a big difference at the dinner table year round. Chanel Call, CBS News, New York. And if you can't donate food or funds, you can always share your time this holiday season. Many public pantries across the country welcome volunteers to help package and distribute donations.